My name is John Crawford. I am a member of the uh, Ebenezer Global Outreach Team. Ebenezer, we serve, and it's something I've done through my work career in the laboratory, uh, serving patients, especially in the transplant community. Um, been involved with Meals on Wheels as a volunteer, and um, working part time there. So you know, kind of doing missions work globally. Got involved with Habitat for Humanity. Uh, another kind of local thing, but uh, the idea of just kind of expanding the horizons and not just locally, but there are, you know, so many needs, you know, nationally and internationally. And this was just an opportunity to get involved, you know, even in a small way with, you know, doing the mission work. When I was little, uh, mom used to always talk about going to Africa. And, you know, we were like, why would you want to go to Africa? And you there's nothing but jungles and wild animals and to be swinging on a vine. And we thought it was crazy. But then when I was older, after I graduated from college, talking to mom and she was saying, she was actually going to Africa. You know, they had arranged a trip and, you know, total 100% mind change. Then, you know, it's the, the birthplace of civilization. This is, you know, our home. And, you know, just the idea of going there, I thought this was great. You know, even volunteer, you know, I, I'll go, I'll, I'll carry the luggage. You're going to need somebody to carry the luggage. But I uh, didn't get an opportunity that time, but it's always something I'd like to do. And I just remember, too, when she got back, once she said that it was just so different to see so many people that, you know, look like you. And, you know, the idea, too, that, you know, we should be eternally grateful for what we have here because, you know, she was saying, you know, you complain about what you have here, but it's, I mean, we're living like kings compared to um, some of the conditions there. So just to be able to do missions work, to be able to have an opportunity to do something, to, to make somebody's life better and to serve and to glorify God is, is something that, you know, I want to do, have tried to do, and want to continue to try to do. Now I want you to hear from Jennifer Petty, who has gone out and done a lot of international missions work. Here's Jenny. Hello, Ebenezer family. I want to share something that's close to my heart and an extension of our mission as a church. Did you know that we support a women's business development co-op in Haiti? It's called FIDE which stands for Women Engaged in Holistic and Entrepreneurial Development in Haiti. This isn't just about business. It's about hope, dignity, and transformation. Our mission with FIDE is simple yet powerful, to uplift vulnerable women in the micro-enterprise sector. We're working to create communities where women can control their income, provide for their families, and lead lives full of dignity and prosperity. These are women who have faced immense challenges and through FIDE, we're not just offering a handout, we're offering a hand up. Let me tell you a bit about what the past two years have looked like for these incredible women. Haiti has been through a nightmarish season where economic activities were almost completely paralyzed by gang violence. Major roads were blockaded and some of our co-op members lost their entire livelihoods. Others had to flee their homes, leaving everything behind to escape the threats of execution. But during all this, FIDE stood strong, not just as a business resource, but as a community a community where these women could support one another, not only with business advice, but with emotional and spiritual encouragement. They've come together in ways that have been nothing short of inspiring. Last year alone, 67 members graduated from our training program, and over 70% of our members have received one-on-one -on -one mentoring and coaching. And we've continued to hold monthly meetings to educate and connect these women to encourage and support each other. Here's a snapshot of what we've been teaching through FIDE. Introduction to entrepreneurship, business marketing, 
pricing and cost analysis, and business accounting. But we're not stopping there. This year, we've begun laying the groundwork for a sustainable farm that will include goats, chickens, pigs, and possibly more. Our vision for the future is to establish a self-sustaining farm, a school, and a vocational program in Dom Marie, Haiti. We believe that within the next few years, this dream can become a reality. So Ebenezer, as we continue to lift our voices in prayer and our hands in service, let's remember the women of FIDE. We are part of something much bigger than ourselves, something that's changing lives, families, and entire communities. Thank you for your continued support and may God bless the work of our hands as we journey together in this mission.